Okay, my daughter's you. crying, so if you could stop and go. Oh, leave. Stop. Well, then leave. you tell me what you want to do. Step if you step outside. Listen, step I came out here the don't yell at me. Don't yell at me. No, you don't. Man, no, don't you. Welcome to another episode of the Landlords from Hell show on Holton Wise TV. Folks, if your tenant doesn't pay rent, you can and should evict them using whatever means are necessary, right? This show, we are about exposing bad landlords, but I'm in the business. We're in the business. It's all about making the business better for everyone. And what is not acceptable is going outside of the law, threatening violence, using violence, and creating uh, uh, booby traps of your property, essentially. I want to take you guys to the footage now of this landlord who has gone completely berserk, broke into his tenant's home and confronted them, trying to remove them then and there. Right after that, we'll get into a conversation with the tenants about their experience. Get out. What is it called? Get out. What is it called? Videotape, right? Man. What is it called? It's called an M4 for non-payment of rent. You can huh? send me one. There's a legal process. Did you pay it? Get out of my apartment. I'm not gonna. Get he has legally until out. the tenth to pay what? it. What? Legally, he has until the tenth to get pay out. it. Get out of my apartment. You can look it up You're online. No, no, you look it up. You okay. look it up. I'm respecting you. You. you tell me what's going on. Payment. You and your roommate. Just stop talking to him. Just let him go. So your roommate so. didn't pay rent. You didn't pay rent. He what's did pay rent. He did? He did. He did. It was direct paid to you. He's on ODSP. No. It goes yeah. directly to you. It goes directly it to you. It didn't come. He canceled it. It went directly to you. It comes directly to you. It went directly to you. So... Tell him, it went directly him. to you. Fine. Tell him to, 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 it to went call directly me. to you. It did it. It did. He canceled it. it did. Do you have to get 24 hours that. notice before coming into your get out the apartment. apartment? I lost well, you I to leave and vacate. You. No. Leave my apartment. What? You're going to hit me? Leave my apartment. I'm asking you to leave. You have no right to be in it. He hasn't so said he's going to hit you. You have no right to be in it. There's a legal process. So you're process. fucking around. No. So what's there's the story? I'm respecting you. You're avoiding me. And I'm telling you, there's a legal you process. You came into it's an apartment. It's called N4 notice right. and on payment of rent. So what's you going on? You can send that to And I'm telling you. Just let him go. And I'm telling you. So what's going on? I told you. I'm waiting on some checks and money to come in. So you'll get it when you get it. I get it when I get There's it. There's an N4 notice you have to give. That's your legal obligation as a landlord. That you Not to show up like this violently. You're on you're on video. I don't care. You I'm have to give video. 24 hours notice as a landlord. For what? As a landlord, you have to give 24 hours notice before showing up to your tenant's apartment. I called apartment. you twice. I called him it twice. Doesn't matter. I called it does. his bottom roommate line, twice. But you have to give listen, written notice line, 24 hours no, no, in advance. For what? Bottom line? To show up to no, your apartment. No, it's about no, non-payment of no. rent. It's, there's a legal process. That is a, uh, listen, there's a uh, legal process. It's called an N4 for non-payment of rent. So you know about You can it. send one in. So you're challenging you can send me, me on, top of what I, on top of what I send did to you. It's an N4 for non-payment of rent. That's what you should send me as a landlord. That's the legal process. How do you know? Because I understand the process. I know you, the laws of this country, so, of this province. Oh, you do that. La, la, la. So why are you avoiding me? You I'm not leave? avoiding you. You want to leave? No, I'm staying. I legally, have a lease he here. has until the 10th to make he a payment. He doesn't show no. me. No, no, legally. Okay, go online. No, legally. No, no, no stop, stop. He doesn't have. Legally, you have to give me an N4. Then I have 14 days from when you deliver that to me to pay you. That's the process. Then you can file to landlord tenant board if I don't pay you. That's how it works. Oh, and every month I want to do it. It doesn't matter. You. That's so how it works. No, he's month. not saying. That's a legal saying. process. No, the third that's month. a legal process. That's the third month you did That's it. a it's legal the process. Month. I'll call the police right now. Get out of my apartment. Get out of my apartment. Get out of my apartment. I'm not going to hit you. I'm asking you. Get out of my apartment. 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 You don't have a place to sit. Get out of my apartment. Get out of my apartment. Listen. Get out of my apartment. I'll make your life as Get hard out as you make mine. You're on video. I don't give a shit. That's a threat. You That's a video. threat. That's literally a threat. That's a threat? Yeah. What is the threat? You telling him you're going to make his life a living hell. That's yeah, a threat. Yeah, he doesn't get his apartment. I said, if he makes No, there's a life, legal I'm process. Gonna a hell, I'm going to make his life a living hell. Are you think it? I'm calling the police. Call the police. I'm calling the police. Call the police. I'm staying here. Get your cars out of my car. No, time. get out of my apartment. Get your car. Get out of my apartment. Get your cars get out of my, my apartment. car. I'll move my car because it's not No, he has to get out of the apartment first. No, you get don't out of the apartment. Okay, well, you're in the parking lot and I'll move my well, car. No, he's not. We'll move it after he gets out of the apartment. Get out of the apartment. If you wait outside, I'll go move my car. Get out of the apartment. If I went outside, what are you going to do? I'll move, move my car, car for you. Get out of the apartment. Okay. 
Great. I don't want to see your car there, both cars. It doesn't matter. Because the rent is not paid. It doesn't both, matter. Both, both parking. So there's legal process you have to follow. No, the parking lot is no, mine. It's it doesn't yours. matter. I'm not talking about the parking lot. I'm talking about the legal process Fine, you have to follow. Car. Get your cars out of here. I will as soon as no, you step you outside. step out of the door. Car, where's your roommate? We'll, we'll go one at a time. Step out, please. Fuck You're you. You're not coming into my apartment. Fuck you. Call the police. I'll get the police here. Fuck you. Call I have rights. I'm a tenant. I have a lease. I have a lease. You have a lease, yes. It's you in have my lease. hands. And the lease I says have you lease. have to pay rent. And the lease, there's the a lease legal process. The They'll tell you. Say you are like, my daughter you. is here, so if you could not yell, that would be really nice. Well, I'm not yelling. He is yelling. No, you're I'm literally calm. yelling and saying, fuck you. I'm so that's calm. not very nice. This one would be nice mm -hmm. for me, too. I'm asking you to let me show my I'm apartment door. Real. This is my property. Right now, I have no. a lease with you. I have a right I mean, to come do repairs anytime. No, you, you have, have to give 24 hours you notice. Have to notice. notice. You have to give 24 hours notice. No, it has to be written notice, actually. No, you can't just show my apartment for Okay, my daughter crying so if you could stop and go oh, leave. Stop. well then leave. you tell me what you want to do step if you step outside this is step out of the way don't yell at me don't yell at if me you no you don't no. Don't you, you don't show up if like you this. Don't there's a legal process you send an n4 notice you don't show up demanding rent from your tenant that is not how it works oh really there's a legal process that's how i work that's not how it works. That's literally that's illegal. I'll, I'll take you to court. I'm take taking you to court over this. This no, is harassment. No, I'm asking you to leave. You're trespassing. Get your roommate. You're trespassing. He's not here, here, so. Huh? He's not here. Where is he? I don't know. You don't know? No. Is he out? He's not in his room. But he gave me that's a letter not... that he left. I don't care what he gave you. I still have a lease with you. No, well, then you have to pay the whole rent. Then I'll figure that out. But you have to give me time. You have to send me an N4 notice. There's a legal process. Listen. This There's is a gross. legal process. I it know is. you're you're moving out. No, I'm okay? not. I I'm know, not. I've read your I've read your application. I have your I'm application not where you where you Okay. Where where are you going? Okay. Okay. So you wanna move out? That's no. fine by me. No. You don't wanna pay rent. You out. tell me I don't wanna pay rent, you wanna fuck around. So what are you doing? I haven't said anything to you. Daddy. I told you you'll get paid. When I get money, I'm having financial issues. I've told you that. There's a legal process. But you're this, working and every you're not day. Following. Your roommate is not working, and yet he's not. Because he gets money off the government. What do you he mean? He scams the government. What are you talking about? Uh, I don't care about my roommate. He sits at home and gets paid. He sits at home and gets paid by the government. Why don't this you is, do that? No. Because <laughs> we work. What do you mean? You work? Yeah. Well, you have money more than him. I don't live here, so I don't have to so pay. What are you doing There's here a all time? I'm Stop visiting talk. on the weekends. Stop talking. No, you can't Stop talking. visit. You yes, can't you can. be a permanent visitor. Yes, you can. Every weekend, weekend, yes, I can. Yes. Yes. You cannot sleep You can here. control. Yes, Read you can. Read your lease. The no. lease says no, no. two people Listen, are living here. Read the Ontario law. Yeah. What? Read the Ontario law. Read the Ontario law. I'll take you to the landlord tenant board. For this, I can. I'm going to take you to the landlord tenant board. Stop talking. This is harassment. This is harassment. Well, I don't give a fuck. You're harassed. Well, clearly, you don't. Know. harassment. I want my money. You'll get it. You when can't you get harass it. people for your money. No, get, I there's get a legal it on the process. First. This is the third forward. month in a row that you don't pay on time. Okay, my daughter's crying. Can you please stop? I will move my car as soon as you step outside. Okay, move both cars. Okay, well, step outside and let me deal with my daughter and I will move my car. Fucking asshole. Is there anything you want to say to the audience? Uh, about this situation, their rights, and, and why you've decided to go public with uh, this harassment. So I'm hoping uh, on the YouTube channel, uh, there's going to be a lot of people that sort of like give their own advice. So I don't know enough about this to give anybody advice. <laughs> like I've got myself in this situation, I'm not even trying to get myself out, let alone other people. But I'm hoping uh, in the comments, people will give suggestions that are sort of little, uh, you know, uh, tips on how to get some sort of evidence or something. Uh, that's sort of my main sort of motivation for this. What happened when you come home and you see that there's actual two by fours like drilled into your driveway with spikes sticking out? What was your first impression? I, I texted the landlord. I'm like, hey, listen, uh, like, did, did you do this? He didn't respond. I sent him several more texts. He didn't respond. So I ended up actually going to the neighboring restaurant where I know he's also the landlord. And I called him from that phone after I called, well, sorry, uh, I skipped the thing. I, I called him from my phone a few times. He, he's, at this point, he's blatantly ignoring my calls or he's very busy with an emergency. So I go to the uh, restaurant next door that he's the landlord in and I call him from that one and he picks up right away. He's like, hey, how's it going? And I'm like, hey, it's Mike. And he's like, Mike, Michael who? And I'm like, you know, Michael, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, oh, why are you calling me? And I'm like, well, you know, you're not answering my texts. This is a pretty big situation. It's a self, safe, health and safety violation. Like, you got to come kind of like 
figure this out. Like, we got to make sure this is happening and that they get cleaned up. He's like, oh, I'm busy. And then he hangs up. And they are still there. The landlord has not done it. He's been here several times since, and he just he hasn't moved them. I've actually injured myself moving them. Uh, I've got scrapes here, and uh, I wouldn't show this on live TV because it's actually a little bit gruesome. Or not live TV, rather, but just, you know, uh, like I wouldn't show this here. But uh, it's actually a pretty gruesome. Like, one of the nails actually impaled me and stabbed all the way through my leg. Now, did you guys get the police involved when he broke into your house and installed these boards? Or, like, where are you guys at today? So, right now, we're trying to hire a lawyer. We don't have uh, – I mean, he's got more money than I do. But either way, we're, we're, trying to, we're, we're sort of in the process of trying to collect any evidence. Because right now, while it's pretty clear to us that it was him, there's not enough proof that a court would back anything, right? It's just like he said he was threatened uh, in the video. He said he's going to make our lives in hell, and then less than a week later, this happens. And then he's on he's on some text conversations with me saying he's going to get the roommate out at all costs. Uh, but that's not enough for a court to actually do anything. So I'm, I'm sort of looking into my legal options. I'm not really someone who's dealt with all this sort of stuff before. Not, 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 not just this stuff, which I guess most people haven't. <laughs> But like now, I, yeah, like as a as a landlord myself, I could say, uh, in, <laughs> installing uh, booby trapped two by fours in the parking lot yeah. is not normal it's operating it's procedure. Norm. I know that, but I've never called the cops before. I don't know any legal processes. I'm just I'm just a guy, right? I don't do anything too crazy or know anyone who does too crazy. So all I know is like stuff that I hear in like American movies, which is a very different legal system. Not much I know. Uh, I just, I know that we need a lot of evidence and uh, I'm not sure if, if Colin right now would kind of like make him cover his tracks a lot more and I'm, I don't really know anything about this so I'm not really sure what to do. My roommate knows a bit more so I'm just kind of letting him handle it. He's still at that place by the way so uh, he's still living there. Uh, you have moved out? I have sort I'm sort of a little bit in both spots right now. Like unofficially, I'm, I'm not living there. I'm, I'm there to hang out with him sometimes or to collect my stuff. But even then, like I'm at this point, I, I, I avoid that as much as I can, especially with the landlord has booby trapped the place. Who knows what's next? Right. So you're, you, you're essentially afraid for your safety when you go. Yeah, there. exactly. I'm, I'm like, I'm like, man, is this guy going to like hire like a team of like, uh, like it sounds really like, uh, I don't know, like, like conspiracy, like not conspiracy, but it sounds a bit paranoid. But I mean, he's booby trapped the place, and each time he does something, it gets like goes next level. It skips a few levels. What's next? Is he gonna hire a bunch of people to come like shake us down with like weapons or something? Like, I'm not gonna be there for that. There's uh, he's running out of moves, and he keeps getting a lot more scarier. So, <laughs> right. What about your uh, roommate? What is his plan? Uh, his plan is to handle things as legally as possible. He's he knows he's reading up on tenant leave. Uh, uh, landlord laws online uh, in that group that I posted that we sort of met on or okay. were introduced. Uh, so he, we're basically doing everything that they said there, which is to file the T2. We're collecting all sorts of evidence. Is his girlfriend and her small child, uh, do they fear for their safety when they come to the apartment? So the mom knows a little bit more uh, about like the law and recourse and stuff than obviously the, the five-year-old child. The five-year-old child is, every time I do come in and I tell her beforehand, and if I do come over for like, you know, a few hours, I'll go for a cigarette. And when I come in, she, she jumps up and she shakes, she's like, ah! and, you know, like she's terrified every time the door opens, she thinks it's the landlord coming like, do un, like who knows what, she's terrified, right? And uh, so the child is absolutely traumatized for me. That's, that's very clear. Uh, the mom is less so because she's just like, yeah, we're, we're going to be able to kind of make it pay for this in some way. How many times has he broken into the house like that to confront you guys? That's the only time that video. Uh, yeah, that's, that's every time he does something, it's always new and stepping it up. At this point, why doesn't your roommate just move out of the apartment like you have done? He doesn't have very many places to places to go his mom is currently going to move in with uh, him and his girlfriend when they move to a new spot because her current spot has bed bugs and it's like really bad infestation so he's trying to move everyone out of there that currently lives there and 
it's just trying to help them all out. That's the, the, the place that we have now. It's in his bedroom, especially, it's very tiny. It's, it's you can't physically fit just a queen size bed in there. There's not enough room, and not, let alone having walking space or anything, but it won't physically fit in there. Just the mattress. So he couldn't fit, you know, like X amount of people in there as well. How long has, uh, how many payments have you guys missed? But is this the only payment? This is the only, this is the only payment. There's one other that was late. My 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 rent is always on time. Okay. It's always uh, like a even early, in fact. But uh, the roommates, he's he's sort of flip flopping with if he wants to stay once before, and he ended up paying a few days late. But he he did make the payment. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.